All right, I know it's early, but never too early to talk about conies, right? American Coney Island is inviting anyone who thinks they can be a coney eating champion to come this week and put their stomachs to the test. The fourth annual Coney Dog Eating Challenge is taking place on Thursday. It's all part of an effort to raise money for the Detroit Police and Fire Charities. Joining us to talk about the fundraiser is Grace, uh, Grace Karos uh, from American Coney Island and Mark Jackson from the Detroit Fire Department. Thank you both so much uh, for joining us here. Now, why did American uh, Coney Island us. choose this, uh, this charity? Well, we, you know, we chose this charity. Listen, Detroit Fire Department, Detroit Police Department, I mean, give so much of themselves to us. And it's time to give back. I mean, we've always been huge, huge supporters of the police department and fire, and we all know what's been going on the last few years with fire department and police, you know, whether it's not having boots or having horrible conditions, you know, in, in a precinct or, or the fire department. So that's why we chose it. And we're having an event prior to like the regular people's event, I'll call it. We're gonna, you know, put DPD up against Detroit Fire and have them have their own little That's challenge. Fun. Yeah. Bragging rights. Yeah, Absolutely. right. Bragging rights, and we have a beautiful, huge trophy that they'll get. But aside from that, which we'll, you'll see later, aside from that, all the proceeds, all the proceeds from the day will go to whoever wins. But there's even a, another little surprise. Even whoever doesn't win <laughs> is still gonna take home some some money. You know, great. To, and to give to their charities and, and to whatever they need it for because they deserve it and they need the support and the help. And what does it mean to you to actually be on the receiving end of something like this? So many people wanting to reach out and help. But well, it'd be a great deal. Uh, Detroit Fireman's Fund is a charity we choose. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, started in 1866 to aid uh, injured firefighters and further to assist with uh, the widows and orphans of fallen firefighters. So it'd be a great deal for us to take it home. All right, now, how many conies did the winner eat last year? Okay, well, it's 10 minutes, so it's how many you can eat in 10 minutes. And the winner last year ate 10 and a half. Wow. And that's wow. with everything on it now, chili, that's mustard, we're onions. Talking, okay, chili, mustard, Not onions. Not that plain thing that goes on over in New York. You know, they're eating those plain <laughs> yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, that's, they got This is like water. a real this man's real cone one. eating contest. <laughs> yeah. This is how you would really eat yeah. a hot dog, Exactly. Right? Who eats a plain hot dog? And dumps it in water. Right. That doesn't happen where we are. Yeah. And how much money it's, did you raise last year? Just, we're in the thousands. You know, terrific. Yeah. It, and we have great turnout, and it's going to be Thursday from 5 to 7. Um, you know, you can register that day still. You can go online, AmericanConeyIsland.com. We're going to have um, celebrity judges, so it's going to be a lot a of fun. Special guests. Who's your special well, guest? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm getting at. We have um, we have a special guest. We have Kobayashi coming. Who knows a thing or two about this? Just a bit, right? <laughs> so we'll see if you know. Obviously, he's not going to participate in the challenge because he'll beat everybody. And then we have our celebrity judges, which is going to make. We have like the Gold family, Charlie LaDuff, Ryan Armani, Rick Mahorn, and they'll all be there. We're going to have a DJ and music. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make it a nice party atmosphere, but yet do something, and it's a good cause. All right. Well, thank you very much thank both you. for joining us this morning. Grace, Mark, uh, appreciate it. And Mark, uh, congrats. Well, thank you and the firefighters and the police officers for all the work they do. Yes. All Absolutely. Year round. Yes. Thank right. you so uh, much. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Aaron and I are going to throw down already some conies on a plate. We're going to have our own cony eating contest. Yeah. And Aaron has a hat. I don't have a hat. Oh, we're going to get you a hat. And we're going to see how many cony hot dogs we can eat down in two minutes. Are you up for the challenge? And by each, I think a new means me and Aaron. I got someone's got to keep score. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, we are ready for battle. We're here with Grace Kiros from American Coney Island and Mark Jackson from the Detroit Fire Department. They're telling us about a fundraiser taking place this Thursday to benefit the Detroit Police and Fire Department charities. And one way they are looking to raise money is by holding a Coney hot dog eating contest. Right. Hey, we're having a little preview. Our own how did I get suckered into right this? Now. You know, That's someone has to, know. yeah, you know, someone's <laughs> yeah. got to keep score. <laughs> Absolutely. So. There's just something not right about having a Coney eating contest before 9 a.m. I love this, okay. though. The she has a knife and fork. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, co it's Coney's. No knives and forks involved. <laughs> no, there's a belt and a, a, a trophy here. We won't get right. that, but we just want to show you sort of what the uh, winners are going to be doing. Now, Grace, how many did the winner last year eat again? Ten and a half in ten, ten minutes. And a half. So if I eat, seems like a lot. So if I eat two, I'm on a championship pace. Well, you're, you're not really, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, two, we have two minutes, right? Well, here he is doing the math. But it's minute. Minute. that last half, you know, yes. that's important. If you eat okay. two, that's two more than me, so you already win. All, all right. right, guys, time and just to think, eat. This is what they look at that belt. I do. How like cool that. is that? That's right. All right, guys, I think we're ready. Here we go. Here goes All right, on the count of three. Ready? One. Two, three. Oh. <laughs> Look at her. Knife and fork. Look at her fork. 
<laughs> yeah, you go a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've seen so many of these contests. I mean, what kind of bro. techniques have you seen? They just shove them in their mouth, literally. Just shove. And there's I mean, onions, soak them chili. In water? No, no, no. We don't. We don't. Stuff. Stuff. None of that. None they of just that. grab them and start literally devouring them. Oh, Two bites water. and it's I think she's no, yeah, no water. I think she's winning. We usually have some pails. She might be winning. We usually have some pails off to the side too, just in case. You might be. You might be. She's not eating a bun. I think she's winning, bro. Keep going. You don't have time to talk. You got no time for chat. No time for chat. Time's ticking. Now, have you ever no. done this before? I have not. You have not done some more this. questions. You know, I will not <laughs> yeah, be doing how's it that. Good. Oh, no, just always gonna get. All right, so we've got a half down here. Oh, the, where's the I think Keenan right is yeah, Keenan is winning right now. She's good. Oh, I don't know. Oh wait, right, I have right. to eat all this. You Joe. can do it. You can uh, do even, it. Even all the debris that's left on the dish. Oh, well, you got some little onions. You can drop any whatever's on the dropping. Grab everything. Here. Everything's <laughs> got to disappear. So, what are the funniest stories that you've seen over the years? I mean, I, I bet you as everything. they get toward that last minute, everyone yeah. usually starts sitting down. Okay, everyone's sprawled out. But yeah. then that last minute, you see everyone literally stand up and they're just like moving around and shaking and trying to eat that last one. And uh, we saw someone lose our cookies once. That's why we have, well, oh. that's why we have the pails around. Oh, I know. Oh, look at that. All right, look, you guys, on the clock there. Thirty seconds to go. More? We haven't. One? We haven't just even gone. Not even one. a whole one. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Is that it? Are you throwing in the wins. You're throwing I'm the throwing napkin. in the towel. I'm throwing in the napkin. That's it. Done. All right. All right for just, just for. You We're know, handing it over to you, purposes. Keenan. Can you still have 14 seconds left? I mean, just. You got to eat those onions. You got to eat another one. You got to eat the onions. Come on. Come on. One more. There you go. Just one more. Give me my guess. You got six seconds. Go. You notice the firefighter here, uh, Mark Jackson, he's talking a lot of smack, but he's not picking up one of these jokes. <laughs> he's saving hey, it. looking pretty good. <laughs> you won. Good job, <laughs> Keenan. Good job. With you finished Coney. one whole Coney. And then real quick, sign up information one more time. AmericanConeyIsland.com. You can even sign up the day of Thursday. Come on, everybody. It's all for a good cause. All right. And hope you have better luck more than one Coney. <laughs> all right. When we come back, right. we're going to take a final look at today's forecast. And we'll let you know what we have planned for tomorrow. We'll be right back. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I can't be contained by a countdown.